Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and in this video I'm going to tell you about my new little scooter I just recently got. Now, as you may know, I do not have a tow car. I don't tow anything, but I do have three vehicles. I have my motorhome, and my big scooter, and my little scooter. Now, my big scooter there, I keep on this trailer hitch rack. And I drive it when I'm in a place where I don't want to drive my motorhome around to do and see things. It's a 200cc scooter, and on a straightaway, I can get it up to about 80 miles an hour. But on this video, I want to talk about this guy, my little scooter. I just recently got this one. I had another little scooter that I rode for a couple years. And there's things I liked about it, things I didn't like about it, and it finally broke down one day. I left it out in the rain is what happened, and somehow that messed up the electronics, and I never could get it going again. And I was wanting to get a new scooter anyway, so I found this one, which I really like. I like it a lot more than the old scooter, but there are three things about it that I don't like that I will tell you about. So first let me tell you why I have this scooter. I have it because there are times and places where I need to go a long way, sometimes all day long, and at this age <laughs> I don't really have the energy to be walking around all day long. For example, when I went to Disney World in Florida I took my little scooter with me and rather than walking around the park all day long I had this scooter to go around with and also it always gave me a place to sit down. If you're just walking around a park or something all day long then <laughs> sometimes it's hard to find a place to sit down but with this I've always got a seat. And then sometimes I may need to go somewhere that's one or two or three or four miles and I just don't want to walk that far. I just may not feel like it that day, not be in the mood or have the energy. So that's when this little scooter comes in handy. Another thing I like is that this little scooter can go anywhere. I can take it into stores when I go shopping. I can take it down hiking trails. If I try to take this thing down a hiking trail, <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble really quick. But I can take this anywhere and it just doesn't bother anybody. So let me tell you about some of the features and comparing it to my old scooter. My old scooter would only go about four miles per hour top speed. However, it would go up hills really well without losing much speed. This one on the other hand has a top speed specified at 12 miles per hour. That's probably with a lighter person. So I think I've been able to get it up to maybe 10 miles an hour. So having that high speed is really nice when I'm on a long trip of a mile or two. However, this scooter does not do very well going up inclines. Just a little bit of an incline will really slow it down and a steep incline may be to a point to where it just will not go at all. So there's the plus and minus about the speed and how it handles inclines. And a full charge battery will go quite a few miles. It does specify how many miles. For my old and new scooter though, on both of them, I found that it'll go a lot less miles than they claim it will. With the old scooter, there was a few times when the battery did run out. But if the battery does run out, all you got to do is pick it up here, and then you can easily pull it to get back to where you need to go. Both of my scooters had a key, so someone can't just run off with it and then expect it to, to go. <laughs> they would have to bypass the key ignition. It has a cup holder, it has a horn, it has a light. And one thing I like about this one is that I can turn the light 
on and off. With the other scooter, the light was always on, using up battery power. And this one has a handbrake, whereas the old scooter didn't have a brake. When you let off of the gas on the old scooter, it just stops, and you really cannot coast with it. This one, you can coast with it quite a ways. I like the throttle on this one a lot more. The throttle is just by turning this. With the other scooter, it had a lever that I had to do with my thumb, which I really didn't like. This one has a cup holder, and it also has this basket that you put on here so that when you go shopping, and I do take it in Walmart quite a bit, you can put a lot of stuff in the bag here. So that's handy. So I do use it when I go shopping, which is usually at Walmart because the store is so big and it just makes it really convenient. So the first thing I don't like about it is that it does not handle inclines very well. It will go really, really slow on inclines. And then number two is that this is the connection to the battery. So you pull this out and you plug the battery charger into here. So when you're riding, you put this back up. However, I found a few times is that when I'm on a really rough road, then this will wiggle itself out and it stops. So for a moment I think, oh, I'm out of battery power. <laughs> then I realize that plug has just fallen out. And the third thing I don't like about it is that it has front wheel drive. Now this is the battery, and I assume the motor is in there too. I'm not positive where the motor actually is, but somehow it transfers the power to the front wheel, and the back wheels are just for supporting the weight of the rider. And the problem with that is the front wheel has the least amount of weight on it, and therefore the least amount of traction. Let me show you what I mean. So when I get started, then the wheel, <laughs> if it's on gravel like this, then the wheel will just spin until it finally takes off. Now on pavement, a hard surface like this, it works just fine, it goes really fast, but on dirt or gravel, it kind of has a terrible time getting going or keeping up momentum so if they would redesign this with the rear wheel drive and have a stronger motor for having inclines and have this plug so that it would the plug would go down instead of going up then they would have i think just pretty much an ideal scooter here overall i like it so much more than my old scooter it just has these three <laughs> real annoyances, but like everything, any kind of vehicle, you're going to find faults with it. So what I'm going to do now is set the camera down and show you just how fast it goes as I drive it along the road here. How you like that? Well, now I'm going to show you where I keep it when I'm driving my motor home. So the only folding up it does is that the seat back goes down and then this goes down here like that and then I put it into that storage compartment right there. So let me show you how I do that. It's easy to pick up. It's not really hard at all. That's all there is to it. So it conveniently fits in here. I'm going to put a link in the description below the video here for the old scooter and the new scooter so you can compare them. And it's easiest to buy them off of the website and it will show the prices. So if you're in a situation where I am, where occasionally you would like to have a little scooter rather than just walking around all day long, <laughs> then you might want to consider getting one of these. 
Good day, folks.